Evening, Johnny Walker here. I'm bored as hell. And when I'm bored, I try a lot of different things. So I've been cooking stuff today. Well, I just cooked some basic stuff tonight for dinner. I like to cook. Um, I'm a really good cook. Um, and I try different stuff. So tonight, for you bachelors out there, or you, you guys out there that maybe like to cook too, check it out, man. I um, cooked some... Um, Basically, like, chicken strips. No, not really strips. No. I guess they're, like, strips. A little bit bigger, though. Homemade french fries. Uh, russet potatoes. And I cut them up. Yeah, and I got a, one of those cutters that makes the french fries the perfect size. And, um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. My, my gal Shelly's gone away to the big city to see her, her daughter and, and her friend. So I'm home alone here doing my COVID um, five day thing. And what else is there to do, eh? Laundry, stuff like that, and cook and eat. I'm feeling a lot better today than I was in the previous video. And drinking lots of water still on liquid. So here I go, I'm having um, some nice um, breaded chicken. What I did is took two chicken breasts and uh, pounded them a bit flatter. And then I cut them up into strips. Then I uh, coated them in, in egg. Then in uh, panko breadcrumbs. Then I air fried them. I air fried all this stuff. I, I, I try not to do uh, oil stuff these days. So I air fried the, the chicken. chicken. Um, then I put it in the oven just to keep warm. Then I did the fries. I put a little bit of this uh, seasoning on it called uh, uh, fry seasoning or whatever. French fry seasoning my, my wife had here. But basically olive oil, the French fry seasoning, the salt and... Didn't put any salt and pepper on the fries actually until after. So I air fried them too. So the chicken only takes like about 10 minutes. So at 5 minutes I turn it over. Then at the 10 minutes... It's pretty much done, and you can pretty much tell by breaking it open. If it flakes open, it's okay. I don't. I have a meat thermometer, but you don't really need it for this kind of thin stuff. So I have some nice uh, kind of cool uh, chipotle type mayo here or something that I'm dipping the chicken in, and my fries. Yeah, obviously a good old ketchup, eh? And you guys ever actually figured out what the name, where the name ketchup came from? I'm telling you, it's very interesting. Ketchup came from a uh, a name from China. It, they they actually China China had this um, sauce. It was it was a type of fish or something like a weird fish and whatnot. And they combined it with something, and they and they called it cat sap or something, you know. And then the, and in America they 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 came up with ketchup, you know. Um, but look it up on um, Google, and it actually explains it. It's quite, it's quite unique. It was a some sort of sour fish sauce or something that it originally was. And can you imagine that compared to today's catsup? Ketchup, I should say. So, yeah. So, anyways, yeah. I'm just sitting here um, having a nice meal. I'm feeling better. I'm going to do another... Um, test in a minute here to see if I'm negative on the COVID thing, which I think I am now. I'm feeling a lot better, but I'm on my um, fourth day. Uh, yeah, fourth day. So, see how it goes. I'm watching this program on TV called Big Timber. A bunch of friends of mine, my follower friends of mine, Heinz Neufer, um, a friend of mine, um, uh, from Victoria, uh, Firewood, um, Firewood fella there, and these other fellas with the sawmill and stuff, Kevin, sorry, I just got distracted for a second, um, anyways, yeah, so, check, check out this series on TV, it's on Netflix, it's called Big Timber, I'm just watching the last episode, and my friend Bush Stewart is a logging truck driver. 
John Br John Bremer is the fella, actually the firewood fella. I'm sorry, I I, I gapped out there for a second. He's from Souk, uh, and then a couple other fellas that I know um, um, that uh, run machine and stuff were there. Uh, Luke Martin, he's a great machine operator and a faller. You'll see him on there too. But the reason I'm kind of saying that, like, I haven't actually watched a lot of these these this series. Um, so far i'm always so busy to sit back at home and watch things but when i'm sitting at home for days and days i have nothing better to do you know but it's a great series it explains how how hard it is logging on this west coast and these guys that have done it for years on this west coast have worked their asses off and their butts off that's the same thing eh? Anyways, just to show you how hard it is. That old Heinz there is a good friend of mine, one of my best customers. I always treat him good. He I instantly fix stuff for him every day. Hey Heinz, love you, bud. He's in. Uh, he's getting. He's getting. He's getting up in age, but I'm telling you, he'll put stuff down better than any young guy, and put it to the right direction. And lay it out right. And that's the whole thing with logging and the falling. Is having a plan. And having it um, go right. Having the uh, wood put down right. Without breakage. Uh, so it's laid out right for the machines to pick up and move. So there's a lot to it. Like people think like oh yeah it's just all like go oh, smash it down and go from there. But no. It's a lot to it. So check out the series. Um. Big Timber, check out my friends on there. You'll see some Walker Saw Shop suspenders on my follower friends um, that they're wearing. And uh, just enjoy how they um, work their butts off, man. It's, it's hard work. And, you know, they're a bit of, from what I've watched with this series, they're, they're nice people. You know, they're great guys. You know, they're a bit, a bit of a Jippo situation, Jippo loggers, but no. They did good. They actually got through it and did fine. And the value of the timber these days, you know, you, you, you risk your life to um, get it to the landing and to the, to the mill to, to process and make your money. But um, these guys are doing it. And like I said, it's hard work. I give them all credit. I think they've done all a great job. But check out the series. So I'm going to sit here and eat my beautiful homemade meal. <coughs> then I'm going to go for a walk down to the beach. Stay away from everyone. <coughs> I still got a bit of a cough, but I'm going to do a, a test here in a minute. My whole thing with this whole thing right now is really pissing me off because I have a family reunion, reunion that I kind of organized for this weekend for the Walker family. We we have a uh, quite a few walkers on the island here, and especially in the Victoria area. And <coughs> the early days of Victoria were all... Was a lot of build up from the walkers, the Jordan River situation, the Victoria area, where my my great 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 grandma Hannah Maynard, which was a uh, one of the first professional photographers ever on there in this area. A lot of history, so I I really want to be getting to this reunion this weekend, and it's tomorrow, man. So I need to do this test tonight. If I'm negative. Bonus, I'm going to wear a mask. I'm going to hang out at the edge of the property. If people want to come over and talk to me, that's perfect. Or bring me a burger or, or a pop, that's perfect. So, yeah. Never thought I would have got it, but you know what? People that have, I feel sorry for you. And anyone that's had people um, pass and everything from it, I feel sorry for you. So, God bless you all. Keep your saw in the wood, stick in the ice, air conditioner's on, 
Take care and be safe. Talk to you soon. See how it goes. Donnie Walker over.